That lovely blue color we all like to see happens as a result of how sunlight is scattered. On a normal day with good air quality, the beam of sun hits an air molecule and all colors of visible light are scattered far and wide. Air molecules scatter blue colors more effectively, so that leads to the sky appearing blue when looking away from the sun. Now, when we have poor air quality, maybe it's a wildfire or a high concentration of ozone over your region, there are dust and smoke molecules in the mix, which are larger than air molecules. Dust and smoke absorb much more light, so the light doesn't scatter as well. This leads to a dimmer, duller, grayer look. This also leads to a change in how we observe the sun during sunrise and sunset, and also, believe it or not, the color of the moon at night. When no smoke or haze is present, you see the bright yellow-colored sun with intense, vibrant colors. When smoke and haze are present, though, the sun appears darker. Red and orange colors come through easier. Sunsets and sunrises are a bit more subdued. For Jersey Matters, I'm Nor'easter Nick. Welcome back to Jersey Matters. In New Jersey, both the unvaccinated and the vaccinated are getting infected by the Delta variant of COVID-19. With that in mind, Jersey Matters' Kimberly Kravitz traveled across the state to ask people how they're feeling about the vaccine now. Kimberly. The rise of COVID-19, especially the Delta variant, is particularly impacting areas where we see low vaccination. Governor Murphy continues to urge the public to get their shots. And so far, we've seen universities and healthcare workers mandate the COVID-19 vaccine. But how do New Jersey residents feel of a potential statewide mandate? If the government mandated a vaccine, I would move to Florida personally. Well, that's how one parent of six feels about she and her family being forced into getting the COVID-19 vaccine. I believe that the risks are greater with getting the vaccine than they are without getting the vaccine. You know, how do we reach herd immunity without everybody becoming on board? And it's just, you know, that, what is your response to that? So my response is, as of yesterday, 70% of New Jersey residents were vaccinated. I think we're almost there. And if you have your vaccine, you should feel secure and you should feel safe. And don't worry about me if I don't, because my life, my body, my choice. Another mom tells me that she too will not be getting the COVID-19 vaccine after she already had it and was hospitalized. I think that should be left between a doctor and a patient the choice of doing that, sure. not the government. People that are getting the vaccine are getting COVID. So how safe and effective really is it? The most recent data from Israel evaluating effectiveness of the Pfizer vaccine against the Delta variant found the vaccine to be 64% protective against infection and 93% effective in preventing severe disease and hospitalizations. Now we are dealing with the Delta variant, which is really quite a lot more transmissible than the alpha variant, number one. And number two, the data are clear, the most recent data, that when a person gets infected who has been vaccinated, namely a breakthrough infection, and they get infected with the Delta variant, that the level of virus in their nasopharynx is about a thousand times higher. Larry Shear believes in the vaccine and received it as fast as he possibly could. I got it as soon as I could, actually. I tried to get it faster. Your message to those that haven't been vaccinated? I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I think this has been made into a political situation that is absurd. We all have to start taking care of each other in this country. We all have to think of the other man. And Erica Joseph tells me that she was a no-vaxxer at first and then was required to get her shots for work. She's glad she did. My opinion, at the beginning, I was very, very adamant about not having it. And then, you know, I have to get it through for my job. If it's mandated that everyone should have it, I think everyone should have it. The overall metrics, if you look at hospitalizations and rate of transmission is down, but the newer variants are spreading faster and present a grave danger to those who are not yet vaccinated. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz. All right, thank you, Kimberly. Coming up next on Jersey Matters. I'm Phil Andrews, and coming up on Jersey Matters, we'll take you to Cape May, where they now have a museum to honor the conductor of the Underground Railroad.